from. And who wrote that song? His name's uh, Cecil Narciso Lobo. You can look him up on um, YouTube. Just type in the word Cecil, S-E-E-S-O. Very good. He, um, he actually, he's been doing music forever. And um, he was, he told me he was, um, he was ready to quit. Because um, he had things going for him, but just he wasn't getting that extra little luck, lucky push that he needed. Mm -hmm. And um, so he was in a music shop one day and decided to pick up um, a ukulele. And he went home, started writing some songs, put it, he made a YouTube, and one of the songs he wrote was, was this song, which was, this is actually a remix of his, of his song. Um, his first song, Thank You For Leaving Me, um, got over a million hits. Wow. Yeah, and um, he said he woke up one day and just seen all these subscribers, like thousands of subscribers in his email, and he didn't know what happened. So he looks in, looks at YouTube, craps his pants, and um, a little bit later, this guy named Twankstar, who was a rapper down in Houston, um, saw his YouTube video and saw how much hits we getting it, and he really liked the song. So, oh, excuse me. So he flew down, flew uh, Cecil down to Houston to record that song. No way. So now, that's now on his CD, and yeah, Cecil is the man. <laughs> hmm. Definitely a good guy too. First, yeah, first time I met him was UWC. So. That's amazing. Yeah, you feel like you're changing lives every day. <laughs> so have you ever played ukulele? Uh, just a little bit, fooling around with it, you know, but never nothing serious. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Just, that's pretty much how I'm with guitars. Just fool around with it, but it's like sitting, it's, I have one in my room right now. Brand new, got it for Christmas. Just don't, don't really touch it. Huh. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> that's funny, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a big thing too, I guess, right now. The ukulele. Oh, totally, totally huge thing. It's um, you can't you can't like not turn on the TV. If the commercial has to do with like a car or like a TV or like going someplace, it's always ukulele in the background. Really, I yeah. haven't noticed. I guess. Yeah, listen, listen. Next time you you watch TV, um, and it's normally freaking. Hey, Soul Sister, every time. I don't know why. No way. Yeah. They're making, oh my god, they're making so much money. It's ridiculous. Huh. That song. That song. Ah. Uh, That's funny. Yeah. I have to pay attention, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Like, I never heard that the stuff either, but when I started playing ukulele, and I would just start hearing it different places, I would start noticing it. It's actually, um, I don't know how much you watch um, Pixar movies, but there's almost a ukulele in every movie. It's, really? always, it's always hidden. Yeah. It's really weird. Like, Monsters Inc., there's one. And Tour Story, I think there's one. I don't know, it's really a subliminal kind of thing that's just there all the time. It's pretty wild. I've never noticed it. Yeah. I'll have my ears peeled now, boy. Yeah, I should. Definitely. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, Colin uh, Coleman, our live performer here in Studio C. About ready to do another song for us. Yes, I am. Let me see. What do I want to do? Hmm. Did that, did that, did that. Uh, I'll do another singing song. I'll do some Bob Marley. This is actually the first um, the first ukulele video on YouTube I saw. And if I would never, like, I wanted my skills to be good enough just to play this song, and I would have been happy. But then it just happened that I like ukulele so much that I just didn't stop playing. Um, but this is uh, Shot the Sheriff. This is actually, CISO did cover this, too. So, a little, a little celebrity. He's everywhere. Yeah. 
Yes, I did. Um, it was a nice version of that. Yeah. Um, do you want me to do it now? Or, uh, was, is it, we got 10 minutes left? Yeah, we got, we got some time. Let me check the old TikTok here. Yeah, we got 10 minutes left. All right. Maybe I'll try to finish off this one. Let's see. This is Wild My Guitar Gently Weeps. This is the one from Jake Shimabukuru. Oh, okay. Um, I kind of... Now, does he give lessons to on the internet? No. He oh. um, he, he just um, strictly touring. It's like him and Aldrina, like, they do the same thing. The whole They're... The message is spreading the glory. Um, and Jake does it through touring and showing. And Aldrin does it through teaching. Aldrin tours too. Um, he, he does like California tours. He he's, he always has gigs over in Hawaii. He, he came to the East Coast um, last year, which is when the first time I met him. But wow. he said that was a culture shock because he's not used, he's never been to New York. And he's always used to like easy going traffic and warm weather. <laughs> and so that was kind of eye opening for him. But um, yeah, the, yeah. Um, wait, what'd you, I forget what you asked now. <laughs> if if uh, Jake gave lessons, he um, he actually he taught Aldrin. Oh, okay, I see. So, and Aldrin is. And how how old are these guys? Jake, I believe, is thirty three, and Aldrin just turned twenty six. Wow. So yeah, they're still they still got a lot more time to do what they're doing. Um, actually, Jake just played for the Queen of England. Um, we played at TED, which is a big um, convention about um, like ideas, pretty much just ideas, wow. crazy ideas people are having. Um, and Aldrin is just he's up and coming, and he's starting to get a big following, and and for good measure too. And if there's any ukulele player I could be like, it would be Aldrin. And um, I'm really really lucky to get taught by him, hmm. and I make sure he knows that as much as possible because he is easily the man. <laughs> but this is. Um, Gently Weeps by Jake, by uh, the Beatles, 
arranged by Jason Obukudo. <clears throat>